Hello guys. guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. You In are fact, so welcome. A special welcome to you. And we'd like you to just take some time to go through our, our channel. You'll find some really awesome videos that we believe will be a blessing to you. Good content. And again, if this is your first time, please subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to the channel. Like our videos. Like, like, like. Share it with your friends and family. And with your friends, families, <laughs> friends, family. <laughs> In other words, share it to everyone that you know. Yeah, and we believe you'll be blessed. And you'll be inspired and challenged. So, yeah. stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> So we did a video on the process and how to put in the work in order to attain success. Right. And some people reached out to us because I had talked about my mentor. Yeah. I think I made reference to my mentor a number of times. Uh -huh. And so some people reached out. And so we thought we would come here and share about mentorship. Really, who is a mentor? Yeah. Why, why do, do you, you need a yeah, mentor? Yeah. Why do you need a mentor? And, and what are the advantages of having a mentor? In your life yeah very very important because as we go along we realize that mentorship can be the key differentiator between success right. or failure exactly and so we believe you'll be inspired as you listen to us yep so to begin we want to understand who a mentor is because I'm sure some someone might be wondering who is a mentor yeah and before you even decide if you wanted a mentor or not you need to really know who, who a that person is. is. So yeah. could you want to tell us who a mentor is? Sure. I mean, it's a word that gets thrown about quite a bit, but right. basically a mentor is someone who has specialized knowledge and mm -hmm. that is very important. Mm -hmm. Specialized knowledge right. in whatever field of endeavor it is right. and also experience. So two mm -hmm. key things, knowledge and experience. Knowledge and experience. And the third thing right. is that the person is willing to share from oh, that, that knowledge okay. and experience and to give back to the community as a way of helping others find okay. their way okay so four things knowledge experience willing willingness. to give back and i think you said uh, willingness to share willingness to share okay. yeah because not everybody is actually right. willing to share from exactly. their experience <laughs> and i mean i personally have had experiences where i have approached certain individuals uh. who i felt were had that specialized knowledge Mm -hmm. They had that experience, but then I didn't know that they were not willing to share. Okay, so I think we have three things to look out for then. Mm -hmm. The specialized knowledge, the, the experience, experience, and the willingness to share. Very important. So it's three, not four. Yeah, yeah because I, I approached this person that. and the person <laughs> kind of blew me off and made me rather feel inadequate as if I didn't know what I was about. Oh, But wow. I was trying to figure that out, so... I guess, yeah, you need to get people who are willing and available to share their experience. Yeah, can you let us know what you, what, what did you ask them? Because I feel like most of the time people do not even know what to ask. Okay. You know, but for you to even get a mentor, you need to first of all, have two things in mind. You need to know what you are looking for and where you are going. So what did you ask this person? Mm -hmm. Because that's how we would know if you really knew what you were looking for. All right. Okay. So I think I had just come out of school and in fact, I had discovered the career path that I wanted to pursue, mm -hmm. right? So I knew what I wanted to do at that time and I had identified this person as being knowledge in that field because I had looked at him and I knew the kind of work that he was into and I knew that okay. this guy is in my field. So I went to him and said that, Hey, okay. I realize you are in this field, mm -hmm. you know, a bit more about this and I'm just looking for someone to kind of like guide me. I have a few answers, questions, sorry, I have a few questions oh, to okay. ask him. And the person kind of like, you know what, you need to be serious. I don't know whether I had a perception okay. about me like, you need to be serious, you need to be focused, you don't just get up and say that you want to do this and I'm like, okay. I have told you this is what I want to do and you are there. Okay. So can you just be like a sounding board? Can I just ask you some questions? Because so, I had a, a lot of doubts in my mind, I had a lot of questions that I needed yeah. answered. So the person, so so then it means you didn't even get the chance to ask any question. No, 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 no. Uh, like what? from that very first engagement, okay. the person kind of like really blew me off. And so was this an in-person something that, that, where do you know this person? Is it from church? Oh or? yeah, from church. So I'd actually oh, okay. met him at church, like not okay. on a Sunday, but one of the days where, okay. you know, I was just around church and he happened to be around and I just happened to approach him. And, oh, okay. Yeah. And I think that even um, makes me think about types of mentorship, right? Yeah. Um, most of the time we think you need just one mentor or mm. you need just two mentors, but you can have multiple mentors. In different if, areas in of different life. In different areas of life. That's why when you talked about church, I was wondering if you wanted a spiritual mentor. No, but I get, I get what you mean. This it was, was career. More professional career. So we have the career mentorship. We have spiritual mentorship. Yeah. 
um, let's say somebody's in your church or your pastor or maybe your Bible study leader and you admire the way they go about their service for God's work and mm -hmm. stuff like that, they can be your mentor at that level. And then the professional is what I think Kweku was looking for in the man that he just <laughs> <laughs> talked about. So that will be for your career. And I think most people tend to look for mentorship in that area. Yeah, it's for more the career, common right? in professional circles. Exactly. And then, I mean, even in areas like personal life, when it comes to your relationships, exactly. yeah. things like marriage and courtship, you can mm -hmm. have mentors in that area. Yeah, and you can also have like financial mentors, people exactly. who oh, are showing you how to I love that handle one. your finances, exactly. set financial goals, yeah. work towards your goals. I mean, so many things, even political. Right, right. Like in politics, it is so yeah. important to have a mentor and yeah. someone at the top. At the top, right. Guiding you and even speaking up for you. Yeah, and I like what you mentioned about even marriage. Like, yeah. maybe somebody will be wondering, why do I need a mentor? But maybe somebody is married or and they have children or something and you are not there yet. Yeah. Of course, they have some experience that you may not have, right? Yeah. And so they may be good mentors. Which is very important. We talk yeah. about the <laughs> knowledge and the experience. Yeah, knowledge and experience. In, in um, th There's this... Um, uh, there's this branch of qualitative study. It's, we call it phenomenology. Hey. And this one, it's like your lived experience. Wow. So here we, we understand that people with lived experience have some things that no matter the knowledge you have, mm -hmm. if you have not lived that experience, they have something you, you definitely don't have. And we so are, that's we are back in the tap, classroom. You want to tap into it's called phenomenology. How many it's credit like, courses like is this? Lived experiences. <laughs> Oh, I mean, if you're, it comes under the qualitative course. All and right. So if you're taking a whole qualitative course, it will be about three credit hours or something. Three credit hours I guess it depends for on free. The, it depends on the school too. Some people may shorten it for one credit hour, but mm. most of the time it's three credit hour. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, that was just beside the point. Yeah. And so we talk about the experience, right? And I think even as a couple, you may have a joint mentor. Yeah. I don't know what you think, what you think about that. Oh, yeah. Like some... Uh, some Older couple. couple, older couple, you look up to. Do you, do you do you see what I mean? Yeah. Who can be objective when you need to discuss something, or maybe when there's anything, mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> somebody who is not your family member. Yeah, they are not. They are not your father. They are your mother because those people they tend to. Um, their emotions kind of like they emerge, they, they, they bring their emotions into whatever situation it is. Mm -hmm. But then if you have a mentor who is not related to Kuiku or related to me, yeah. then they uh, they see things from uh, uh, an objective yeah. point of Impartial, view. Impartial and they can exactly. give you honest feedback. I yeah. think, and which leads us into the importance of mentorship. Yeah. What are some of the advantages of mentorship? So, I mean, I think the most <laughs> important or the most pertinent one is personal growth and accelerated success. I love that. You know, because learning from someone's experience just helps you to mm -hmm. avoid many mistakes that you make. Yeah, and true. you have the benefit of hindsight, someone who has gone through a process exactly. and is telling you, do this, yeah. do that, is guiding you at every point of the way and yeah. showing you the, the decisions to make, exactly. the turns to make, the changes yeah. that you need to make. Yeah. Having that information upfront saves you so much stress 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 and i wanted to share about my own experience with mentorship when you shared about yours for me it's been kind of interesting i haven't really gone up to someone to say be my mentor okay and this is what i shared with somebody who asked me about mentorship a couple of weeks ago so how it's been with me people have approached me to mentor me okay. do you see what i mean either through a fellowship I'm in or through some kind of program I'm in or even through my education, that kind of mentorship. Okay, so, so it's been more structured yeah, and kind of exactly, laid out for you. That exactly. You happen to find yourself in a space where exactly. there is a mentor. There's a mentor, yeah. okay? And it's, it's just part of the package of whatever mm -hmm. fellowship I've been in. For example, I was on the Yali Fellowship, the Mandela okay. Washington Fellowship, and through that I had... A mentor. We're given I, I, assigned a yeah, mentor. Yeah, I was assigned a mentor yeah. and she's still my mentor. Okay. Right. She's somebody that I look up to, I talk to, I mm -hmm. share stuff with. Yeah. And she also has a family. So she's become kind of multiple mentor for in me. Multiple areas. In multiple yeah. areas. I, I went into the mentorship thinking professional, professional. Yeah. But then this is a woman who is doing really well, has a husband, has children, and so we are able to talk about a number Other of things. things. And and you've met her, right? Yeah, you've I met have. you've met her. And and so that is how I got into one type of mentorship. So she's there. And again, even in what I'm doing now, my work now, I have a mentor. And again, that was structured. 
Yeah. And these are people I'd like to hold on to for a really long time. Of you course. see what I mean? Because I'm, I'm gaining a lot from them. Yeah, in I'm, terms of I, personal growth. In terms of personal growth. I'm telling you, professional. I'm gaining a lot from them. Yeah. Just, yeah, so I'm gaining a lot from them. So. Yeah, and some of the other advantages include like constructive criticisms. Exactly. Oh. And, and impartial I'm telling feedback, you. Yeah. especially, yeah. which is really important. Because exactly. as you mentioned earlier, normally when it's coming from family and friends, there's some kind of emotion attached to it or exactly. they might not even be able to tell you as it is but yeah. then having a mentor is having someone who can yeah. give you constructive feedback exactly and give you that harsh or strict yeah. feedback you maybe know? harsh in quote what harsh people in quotes. what people would term harsh yeah yeah because even me having a mentor now for my career right yeah she she gives me a lot of feedback and i find it really beneficial mm -hmm. and because of my experiences i do not see it I, I, I won't I won't term it as harsh. Yeah. I think it's really, really beneficial. She's very like objective. She's very um straight to the point. And we talk about a, a whole number of other things yeah. as and well. You know so, when we were preparing for this, I read an article about um mentorship and right. one point the person made was that he was speaking to a friend of his who mm -hmm. mentors young men. And he was saying that unfortunately what this person is experiencing is that Whenever he gives any of his mentees, maybe like some strict feedback or some maybe strong feedback, then oh. they check out and they don't want to continue with the oh, okay. mentoring relationship, which I think is not the best. <gasps> Understand that your mentor is there sometimes mm -hmm. to give you, you know, strong feedback exactly. and positive criticism. Yeah, and, and and in that video, that process video, yeah. I talked about my, my supervisor, right? So she also, I see her as a mentor. Yeah. Right, and she gave me all that strong feedback that has really contributed to what I know now. Mm -hmm. And so, if you do not want feedback, and I think we already we already even talked about feedback yeah. in the process video. So, if you haven't watched that video yet, please do well to go watch that yeah. video. So, we talked a lot about feedback and being open to feedback. Mm -hmm. So, this is what I think. If you are not open to feedback, then you do not need a mentor. Yeah, exactly, and also. Yeah because of one of the other advantages of they being able to bring in new perspectives exactly and new insights right you know we have a <laughs> proverb that says that the the, the 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 old man sitting at the bottom of the baobab tree can Come see on. further than the young man at the top of the tree Come right? on. and there's another <laughs> proverb that says when you are going forward you cannot see your back yeah. right and so you don't know if you are crooked or straight yeah and I really like that about new perspectives because right. you see, when you are starting out in life, maybe in your professional career, you, you might think that, oh, you know all there is to it. But then no. having a mentor, someone who has been in the field for maybe 10, 15 years yeah. and has seen things change and has seen right. trends come and go, they are right. in a good situation to tell you that, look, yes. focus on this, right? Exactly. Or maybe you are looking at things this way. Actually, that is not how it's going to be in the next five years. Yes. Things are changing. I love it. Things are transforming. Uh -huh. This is how things are going to be done. So exactly. new insights, new perspectives. Yeah. yeah. It's so important and when will, you have it coming from a mentor. Yeah, and it will make your life uh, like it will just make your life easy. Oh right? yes. Yeah. It's like somebody telling you, I made this mistake. No, 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 no. Don't make this Don't mistake. Don't make this mistake. Yeah. So that things will be a bit, you know, easy for you. But yep. if you're not, if you're not open, then there's really no point in, in having a mentor or looking for a mentor at all. Yeah. But somebody would ask, how do I find a mentor? Can I just go on Google and type, uh, go on social media? How, how really do I, do I find a mentor? I already shared that mine has been through structured programs. Yeah. Yeah. But if you are not in any kind of structured program mm -hmm. or anything like that, I think the first thing you want to... Uh, think about is your circles yeah your you immediate know, circles exactly because sometimes you'll be here thinking about maybe president obama <laughs> when you have maybe nanado in your circles you see I what like i that. mean yeah you yeah. be here thinking about president obama or now maybe obama is in the past so let's talk about biden, biden. or kamala harris so, so you're thinking about kamala harris of course we are all rooting for yes. kamala harris you're thinking of kamala harris meanwhile nanado's wife is there her name is what 
Rebecca. First lady Rebecca. Rebecca <laughs> is Becky. right in Ghana. Is <laughs> right in your circle, so you can tap into Rebecca. So don't look too far. Yeah. And that's one lesson we all need to learn. Most of the time, the things we are looking for mm-hmm. are in our circles. Yeah. You see what I mean? And even when you bring it to relationship, I've heard um, pastors preach and say maybe some guy it's just around you, but, but you cannot see. see. <laughs> and you are looking at someone in, let's say, Afghanistan or something. So anyway, back to the point we're trying to make that look in your network, look in your circles, just think and reflect, um, who do I know, who do I know? And even if you think there's no one in your circles who can be your mentor, maybe some people in your circles know some other people who, who may be mentor suitable you. mentors for you. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, when we, when we talk that. about like social circles, think about like, yeah. your personal circles, your circle exactly. of friends, <laughs> or the parents <laughs> of your circle of friends. Exactly. Or people in maybe in church, for example. Exactly. People in your community or in your neighborhood, right? Yes, right. People in some kind of yeah. uh, professional group that you find yourself in. Exactly, or yeah. Or maybe a volunteer group, right? A volunteer group, right. Exactly. Yeah. All those are people who yeah. You could look in to identify someone who has the knowledge, specialized knowledge, the experience, the experience and, and the, the willingness, willingness to, to share. share right? Three very important things, right? Yeah. And you'll be surprised that if you specifically look at some of these uh, uh, requirements, you right. can find someone within your circle. Right? Oh, you definitely can. That's what I'm saying, that even if you do not find, ask your circle members yeah. to connect you to someone. Exactly. And those things really work. And it's just like, let's say you're even looking for a job mm-hmm. and you have a mentor, right? And let's say your mentor happens to know someone in that organization. Correct. So they can quickly say, oh, maybe recommend you or something. Yeah. And I think that's more uh, coaching, w- which is different from mentorship, right? Yeah. And yeah. I think one of the advantages from having a mentor or is gaining access to their network of connections, right? Right. You gain access to the people that they know. So if right. they are not able to help you, they can connect you to someone exactly who, who they know who will be able to help you, and that is really good. Yeah. Um, and then also, I think through social media these days, that is yeah. one of the ways through which you can find mentors. I yeah. Mean, especially right. professionally, a place like LinkedIn is the oh. go-to place. <laughs> who loves LinkedIn? Oh yes. I mean, LinkedIn has it's been just... a game changer for me professionally in right. terms of the kinds and the quality of people that I've been connected to and even right. the opportunities that have come my way. You know, a lot of know, the jobs right? that I've got yeah. since coming to Canada was through LinkedIn. Yeah. And so you, you, I recommend it. You even got some free rides to South Africa through LinkedIn. I know, right? Like all those professional <laughs> and engagements like, and how, how do you job interviews and all yeah. those things have mostly been through LinkedIn. So yeah. if you are not on LinkedIn... <laughs> You are doing yourself a lot of harm. Is LinkedIn paying you for this ad? <laughs> no, they are not paying me, but I guess there's a way of giving back in appreciation of the I way guess. that it has helped it me. It has so. helped you. <laughs> yeah, so before, I just wanted to throw it out here that before you even get into your network, trying to think who can mentor me, who can do that, who can do it, think again, what are you looking for? Yeah, Okay. Exactly. And where are you going? Be specific. Or What are you looking for and where are you going? Because most of the time, people do not know or mm. they are not sure. Exactly. And if you do not know, you are not sure where you are going, what you are looking for, it's okay. Mm-hmm. I think you need more of a, a coach. Yeah. You can find a coach who can help you to brainstorm some exactly. of these things. But mentors do not do that. Yeah. They, they don't come into help. You need to know what you are they looking guide for, you where you are on going. The path that and you then, exactly, your mentors can, can guide you. Exactly. But if you don't know, then you can find a, 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 a professional coach or find a spiritual coach or mm-hmm. things like that. Yeah. And then, do you even know that you can be mentored by someone you have never met? Wow. Yeah, that is possible. (laughs) Where you identify someone who, maybe in a particular field, this person is an authority, and you feel that, wow, I really like this person's knowledge. You decide to take that person as their mentor, which means that you are following what they are recommending. Okay. You are imitating their yeah. their ways of doing yeah. things. Yeah, you, I agree. You follow their thoughts. Yeah. You take actions. Okay. When they say follow these steps, you are following it and you are doing it exactly right. as they say it. And that is a form of mental okay, mentorship. So that's more informal, right? Yeah, informal, informal mentorship. Then I think I have a number of informal mentors. Oh, yes. I like I read their books, I'm listening to their sermons, they are listening to Yeah, and this happens especially like in the that. spiritual exactly. mentorship space where you do not have access to these people but then you are following them but then it exactly. also cuts across in finance yeah, i think it cuts you can across. have i mean there are people who yeah. have 
Robert Kiyosaki as their <laughs> financial mentor or exactly. Dave Ramsey. But never, the never seen them before. But never seen, never them, seen before, them before. But they are but following their steps. Yeah. And they are getting the results. And they are getting the results. So exactly. then they so, are like your mentors. Yeah. yeah. So I think yeah. not all your mentors would be people who are accessible to you. There will be times where you would have people you've exactly. never met but then they yeah. can still, mentor, can still you mentor you by reason of you following exactly. the writers that they recommend yeah. to yeah and talking about informal and formal mentorship i think for the structured ones um yeah. those are more they fall into the the formal kind of mentorship and for that i think a lot depends on the mentee oh, yeah. right you need to go to your mentor don't oh, yeah. expect them to come to you you need to suggest to them to have like a meeting exactly Maybe you can have a bi-weekly proactive. meeting or something so be proactive ask them questions and things like that. because mind you they have several other people yeah, they, they are, are they also, trying to mentor and whatever they are doing their inbox is like this yeah they are also you human see? beings with families <laughs> exactly. and they might have their own personal engagement so exactly so you, you want need to be, be proactive exactly so the mentee you need to be proactive and don't go about saying and my mentor doesn't, doesn't care about me or me. my mentor no. you need to be proactive so i just wanted to say that that here and again when you are proactive they will see it so they'll be able to give more yeah. pour more into you that's yeah. that's been my experience yeah with this whole mentorship and i think even as mentees if, if you are the mentee do not um try to always get from your mentor ask yourself what you can also do to help them right yeah, yeah little maybe, little things yeah yeah small small things maybe it's their birthday you can buy them a birthday cake or a card or, or, or something, something or card or show concern ask about their families yeah. oh how are you doing even when you start the meeting you can ask oh how was your week yeah. how's your family if they have children you can ask about their children yeah kind of show concern and i'm not saying just go asking and uh, for asking sake Care, really be care. Concerned. Yeah, really be concerned because these are people who have decided or are willing to share. And like we could say, not everybody is willing to share. No, right? not everybody I know that from first hand experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are mostly not willing. I yeah, and it. it's it's really important this thing that you brought up yeah. about being proactive because mm-hmm. I personally, looking at how I have benefited from being mentored, especially right. in my career, uh-huh. professional life, and even spiritually. I seek to make myself available for mentorship. Exactly. And there yeah. are several times where a number of people will, will have contacted me or reached out to right. me through LinkedIn and say, hello, uh-huh. I want to, I want you to be my mentor. And right. I'm like, okay. But then I never hear from them again. And I'm like, oh, that's it. were you expecting <laughs> me to follow up on, oh, really? the, okay, mentor, and that's on it. the mentorship relationship? Yeah. Oh, I mean, okay. nothing, but it doesn't work that way. It's two no. ways. If you want me to be your mentor, I'm happy to do that. But then, exactly. as we said, you need to know what you want. You need to have your questions. Exactly. Know where you're going. Yeah. yeah. You need to know where you are going. And you need to engage. engage. Mentorship I love sometimes it. can I love be it. for a lifetime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sometimes fact, it's yeah. just for a certain period of time. But then yeah. sometimes it's for a lifetime. Yeah. I think my mentors, they are still in my life. Yeah. And yeah. I also the have mentors, mentors who they, have they been in my life, in my life for... I'm, I'm not sure when it's going to end. I'm 10, not... 20 years. Yeah. No, maybe not 20 years, yeah. but... I, I'm not sure when mine is going to end. I'm not desiring for it to end. Actually, I want to be able to still engage with them as I also try to give back to other people. And that brings us to if you have benefited from mentorship, try to give back and Twice. mentor other people because mm-hmm. there's definitely somebody who needs something from you. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, no matter the level you're at. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. There's definitely somebody who is looking up to you for one thing or the other. Mm-hmm. So be willing, be willing to to give out, you know. I think there's really even nothing wrong if you also identify someone and try to formalize a mentor mentee relationship oh, yes. with them. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. And exactly. It's absolutely helpful. I mean yeah. I'm so thankful for my mentors, especially right. my <laughs> professional life. Look I am right. even in Canada today because of my mentor. I love it. Right? Because mm. this is someone that I met when I was almost out of school. Okay. And I know, they I know introduced the yeah, yeah, they introduced me to like the career that I pursued. Right. Even along the way, they were advising me on certain jobs to take. Right. And pointing me in certain directions and presenting yeah. opportunities and right. options before me. And right. If I am in Canada today, it is because of my mentor. Wow. Yeah. So, wow. I mean, they I have it. played a significant role in yeah. my life and they continue to play that role. role in your and life. I mean, wow. they become like a friend to me, right? Exactly. It's not just that mentor mentee, but like a friend that right. I can call and discuss and talk yeah. about, you know, and if things you f- that are going yeah. on. If you find any job opening, you can discuss it with them. Exactly. Can, oh, yeah. They can look at your stuff job, I send my resume like to them that. and I'm like, <laughs> can you look through my resume and exactly. see if it fits and where I need to turn things? Yeah. They gave me the 
the feedback, feedback and you I applied it. it. Yeah. I went for the job and yeah. I got the job. And, so. and, I, and I do the same thing, right? And mm-hmm. I remember I was telling you, Kweku, that oh, I really need my mentor's feedback on this. Yeah. I, 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 it's like I have some belief in her. Exactly. I, I trust. Know, I, yeah, I have some trust in her. I know she's she's good. I know she's ahead of me. I recognize all that. Do you see what we even talked about in the process video? I yeah, recognize all that, that she's, she's senior. Mm-hmm. And so I remember telling you that once she looks at this thing, I'm sure it's, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. She just needs to look at it and then I'll add prayers to it and I'm sure it yeah, will be fine. Go. So, you know, have if you don't even have that confidence, if you're not willing to humble yourself, if you don't believe in your mentor, then you're better off not having them as a mentor. Yeah, okay? that's true. If you're going into mentorship, you are, you are going with a humble spirit. Mm-hmm. You know, you are going to tap from somebody something that you have not experienced something that you do not have exactly. and so you want to be open-minded and you want to humble yourself and then i believe you would get so much from them as uh dear did. <laughs> oh, yes. and, and of even course for too. those that i am so, kind of mentoring now i kind of see the people who are more engaging i kind of see the value that they are getting from me and same with me and it's yeah. interesting the last time i was talking <laughs> with one of them and he came and said that after the call, you ask them, ah, who is that person you are talking to? I can see you are really serious yeah, with them and I, I answering sensed, their questions. Yeah, because I sensed it. Because I know your tone. I know how you behave on calls. But then this particular call, I knew that ah, this person must be really important. <laughs> and the way even your tone and yeah. even... I, I felt that the guy seem to be almost like you also okay. like in terms of temperament and things like that and yeah. i think you've talked with him twice and both of them i noticed yeah so yeah, there's so... definitely a difference <laughs> yeah. when it comes to that mental mentee relationship exactly and there's a level of effort that needs to be put in to make it work and believe me it works yeah so I... it, it definitely works so you want to you want to just think about it one, one more time ask yourself do i need a mentor Right, nobody is asking you to find a mentor, but you look into yourself. Do I need a mentor? Oh yeah. And like everyone said, needs a mentor. In every, it can be in so many areas of your life. It can be spiritual, yeah. it can be professional, personal, it can be personal, um, financial, financial, political. It, exactly. <laughs> even 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 health, fitness. Oh yes. Yeah, maybe you've identified some fitness guru mm-hmm. and you like the way they are always active and yeah. exercising and things like that and you want them to be your mentor yeah why not uh, reach out to them or reach out to somebody who know them yeah and and i believe it, 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 it's a step in the right direction yeah yeah so thank you very much for listening to this episode i believe that you've learned something from the things that we've shared concerning mentorship right so don't forget to like the video like our video let us know in the comments what you think let's know what you think if you have some questions or you have some topics that you like us to talk about too, yeah. you can just drop them in the comment and we'll yeah. be happy to do that and above all don't forget to subscribe subscribe and keep following us as we bring you more amazing content so yeah. all the best yeah and have a great day bye, bye. <laughs>